Well, this is exciting. It's June the 23rd, 2015, and here we have two different games releasing major pieces of content on the same day. Now that is cool. Just a sec here while I mute my stream, because otherwise we're going to get doubles. So this is Guild Wars 2, Heart of Thorns, brand new first expansion for Guild Wars 2, and they've totally redone the City of Lion's Arch. So this is where we first appear, when we first rezzed into the game after it loaded. So we have a gate here, which is, let's see which gate it is, ah, newly revised North Gate. And let's take a look at the map, because this is cool. The Grand, P Grand Piazza is all covered over with something diaphanous. The Eastern Ward is organized now in a circle. That's nice. Trader's Forum looks like it's organized around a sea star. Western Ward's been totally redone. Doesn't look like there's that much crafting here anymore, but we still have a banker, and I imagine the Mystic Forge is here somewhere, because that's been redesigned. And then Fort Mariner no longer has crafting either, but is the dungeon portals. So it's been cleaned up a bit. Very cool. It's nice as they didn't make us go and redo all the vistas. <laughs> Because we already had them, that was nice. Very interesting. And finally we have the Laurel Guy again, nearly single crafter's piece. Okay, and it's interesting, there's a trading post down there near that portal. To wherever. Now let's take a look at our south exit, looks the same. So our gold run is right there. This looks like it might be new. I don't know what that star thingy is. Oh, big lobster. Let's go look. Besides, I want to stop that noise I was making. This is very cool. This looks like a mystic forge. And it's right by a giant octopus with a see-through head. Very cool. I'm assuming, yep, there's the old Mystic Forge in all its glory. It's our octopus. The new walls are very strong looking and cool. Looks like a city again. Not just a bunch of wrecked ships. Grand Piazza's got a nice ceiling. Gives it a shaded look. Very nice. Okay, going up to the giant lobster. The art in this is excellent. They set themselves a high level and they've hit it again on this giant lobster tail. Hmm, delicious. I don't know what it is, but it's looks neat. Maybe some explorable city bits now. It's got a divinity's reach sort of look. Karma Merchant. Looks like maybe some of the event dudes have been moved here. Directions. Okay, so we have guides now. Okay, that looks like the monument to the fallen. Yep, all sort of by itself on a nice little pier. It's 
Sniper in the docks. Now this is the area where it was a wrecked building before. Looks like they've rebuilt it. Hmm, something over there. Oh, the doors don't open. Wah. That's what I like about Divinity's Reach, all those nice doors that open. Priory's got themselves a tent camp out here. Yep. A lot of locals, but don't see many players. What? Interesting. Oh, a few. Oh. Everybody's probably still loading the game. Oh, this is this. Yeah, this is cool. Magical rooms. A waterfall. I see you. Right down to the Mariner Plaque. So we've got a, a really nice new monument to the lost here. Very pretty. So we'll go see that from the inside. It has its curtain of water thing. done. Very pretty. Okay, it's important to find that crafter zone, since I was just in it a minute ago before this hit. What is that? Chest. Interesting. Not sure what that's about. I'm important and busy. Looks like we have some Asura. Oh, I neat! Looks like some neat climbing puzzles and other things. This looks a lot like what it was, in a way. Still some wreckage that hasn't been revamped, it appears. Okay, so we came from there. Where are we going? Looks like it might not be so easy, so let's just take it easy way. New loading screen. Ooh, nice and fast. Laurel Merchant. Alright, so now we've got a town. Ah, here's the collector guy. He's hanging outside here now instead of the piazza. Nice, yes, much more divinity's reach. Snazzy buildings. Oh, sort of snazzy. Up here, maybe not so much. Verticality to the city again, that's good. Interesting that for something newly built, it has the feel of something that's been here a long time. Alright, looks like it lost. Okay, so our big starfish is on the right here. Okay, this actually does look a lot more to me like the grove in some ways without all the fancy flowers. It's got that silvari kind of layout to it. Alright, so there's your tailor. 
Julian Station. Uh-huh. Here we are. Very good. Almost to 400. Okay. Well, they're working over here. Good. That's all close by, except... Laurel guy's alright. Where is... Oh, okay, the trading post's way over there. So that's going to get take a little getting used to. Usually you need a lot of that. How do we get to him? Oh, jump fall. It's on a bit of a mountain top. Oh, we got a snazzy building. Nice decor, nice digs. Oh, neat. Okay, so we got a black citadel type, which is the other thing this reminds me of. Got a black citadel type building, yep. Only very simplistic. Looks like it was clawed out by char. <laughs> Obviously a little slow to load. Thank y'all. Honor bear. And be strong. So that's gonna take a get a bit of getting used to, but not so bad because there's my jewel crafting station. That's no, not too bad. I will get used to that. All right. So, some kind of pondish thing here. Ah, and there's also another banker and trading post over here. So that might even be better for my jewel crafter. Let's Stop by the shop sometime. At the pondish thing. That's the, okay. The pondish thing is the Mystic Forge. We've been here. Ah, and the other building is the octopus. And here he is. So there's your trading post. The diving bell. How cute. And a banka. Handy. Good. Smart design. Now we have some kind of a gate, maybe? So there's Lion Guard. Ah. Whatever this is about. Oh, weapons. For claim ticket sky. Okay, claim ticket redemption, dude. Actually reminds me of Stormwind. Oops! Wasn't supposed to say that in this game, right? It's a cross, actually. Alright, so this makes a lot of sense. So now we're starting off with Divinity's Reach, which isn't up on its own pedestal anymore. Oh, South Sun Cove's got its own gate. It's new. It's a little rough. It's Black just me. Citadel. Yeah. And then there's the Grove. So we will rather swim all by itself here. Okay. So they've added in South Sun Cove, which is handy. Quick way to the south is nice, and southwest actually. So okay, so Radisum has the place of honor, interestingly enough, all by itself. Used to be Divinity's Reach. Now Divinity's Reach is over there. South Sun, Holbrook, Black Citadel, and the Grove together. A little different. All right. Oh, someone's got a kite. He actually. 
another way out of here. That's close. Oh, yes, so. All's well. Nice that they've made gates in the wall. Seems to be nighttime here right now. Big new bridges instead of the old holy ones that you would fall through. That's nice. Where are we going? Don't know what this is now. Gill stuff? Yep. Gill stuff. Can you get in this building? No. Knock knock. Nobody there. Alright. So all the guild vendors are here. Which way am I looking? Alright, so I'm looking toward this, which looks like a bunch of inactive stuff. Check it out. I thought this would be a multi part one, but it looks like we can do it all in one pass. Another piazza. Consortium. Florist. Oh, could be a, it looks like it's a wedding palace. Are you expecting enough people to get married here? Oh no. meant to be a wedding thing, but maybe not. Looks like a, somebody's playing games with their minis. Yeah, just a reception area. Interesting. No, it's just a little pseudopod, so let's go on to Fort Mariner here. They've left a lot of it natural and outside the gates, that's nice. As it was before. But even more so. Let's not wander off the beaten path here, shall we? Nice to have directions, guys, everywhere. Ah, another new bridge down here. Have a piece of wall. So here's our southern gate. Ah, here's the gate. It's right across from the waypoint. Makes sense. Alright, so now we're into Fort Mariner. The cultural weaponsmith guys, alright. Of sheep's butts. All right. What is that? Is this how you get to your guild hall or something? Not sure. All right, dungeons. Yep. This. Same sanctum. Handy. Desert. Don't even 
Borderlands miss. Hinge of Denravi, Borderlands miss. Battleground mists. Just where we came in. Edge of the mists. And then in the center we have. Where's the gate to Port Trinity? Fractals! gate up here. Right, this is the one part of the mist. This is one that's built into the face of the lion statue. Yeah, cool. Very cool. I've gotten used to getting up at dawn. I hope they don't put us on the night shift again. Very cool. I imagine characters who haven't fully explored Lion's Arch are going to have to do this all over again. But thankfully ones that have don't. Nicely done. Different and yet similar enough to its old nautical pattern. Well, I think I've explored the things I'm going to see in this first trip. See what this is about. Check out all the diverse little corners. And check out all, oh, this is this wall. Yep, the wall. And it's still there. Alright, so Pit of Iniquity, not very interesting. Okay, how do I get up there? Right, this is this guy. We came here before. Alright, let's look up, look way up. So you've got to get up top. Bet you that's a priory connection or something. Our research here should lead to an amazing series of publications. And we don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. But we've basically checked out everything else the vaults yeah we were there so we're done our tour except go see that little pavil pavilion there and then we'll say we're done for our first look at this anyway very cool And 
And then it's time to go download the second game of the day. Oh, very cool. But they gave us credit for it, even though we've never run it. Well, it is similar to the one that was here before, but much nicer. It's a lighthouse. A very, very tall lighthouse. Diving goggle, uh-huh. In case you fall down, or maybe that's how you get off. Very cool. A corkscrew, Nautilus style. <laughs> well, that's a lighthouse. And they're right. Who would want? They gave you a diving board. Walk the plank. Except it appears I need to put on my thingy again. Ooh, naked Solari. Come up. Oh, that did not work. Well <laughs> That didn't work well at all. However, so is some bugs. Maybe I didn't jump far enough. Uh, okay. We'll just go over here. And we'll sign off. Back to survival mode. And now I can do another gold run. Okay. Signing off on the new lion's arch. Very cool.